what's up? My name is Avery and today I have a very fun reading vlog planned. <laughs> Okay, so I'm not gonna start the vlog today. It's gonna start tomorrow, I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna film this intro clip first because I'm all done up already and everything. Um, so I'm gonna be starting whatever book I pick in a second tomorrow. I thought it would be really, really, really fun to see how many novellas I can read in 24 hours. <laughs> so a couple days ago, I went onto Instagram and did a little thing on my story where I asked y'all um, if also if you're not following my Instagram it's linked down below I asked y'all what are some of your favorite novellas romance novellas under 100 pages specifically I didn't want to read any over 100 pages because I'm trying to see how many short little under 100 page novellas I want to read in 24 hours so I took all of your responses that you gave me in Instagram because there were so many unfortunately there were a few romance novella recommendations that are not gonna be on this list that I have to choose from because they were over 100 pages, but I did put them in my TBR shelf on Goodreads. So if you gave me one that was over 100 pages, unfortunately it's not gonna be in this video or could be in this video because uh, it was over 100 pages and I, I wanna read under 100 pages once. Romance novellas, under 100 pages. I have decided to do a spinner wheel. <laughs> I've never done a spinner wheel. Um, let me also figure out how to screen record this okay so we have this spinning wheel right here so i have all of y'all's suggestions that were under 100 pages and some of my own that i want to read that i found on kindle unlimited or um that were already in my kindle library also some of you recommended me some novellas but uh they were i had to buy them to get them and i'm not i'm i'm currently not buying any books <laughs> um even ebooks and so i only allow myself to put books that were in my library on kindle unlimited or already in my kindle like library in kindle not the libby library if that makes sense <laughs> so i had those three options to choose from so i have this whole list i don't i don't know how many are in here um but these are all under 100 pages and so i'm gonna see how many books i can read how many novellas i can read in 24 hours and every time i want to pick a new novella to read i'm going to be spinning this spinner wheel um so I'm very excited. I have so many recommendations here that I'm I'm excited to read every single one of these. So I thought I would spin the wheel and see which one we get. I'm not gonna tell you all of them on this list. You can kind of like read off to the side right here if you wanna see some of them. Um, so yeah, okay, so let's spin and then I'm gonna be starting uh, whatever book this is tomorrow. I am not starting the vlog today because I have to film some other videos today, um, but I thought I would do this clip right now so I know what book I'm gonna be starting at midnight tonight. Okay, you ready? Here we go. I'm excited. Okay, we have Night Tide by Grace Draven. Okay, so Night Tide. This is one of Grace Draven's books. I'm trying to read all of Grace Draven's backlist, and this is under 100 pages. And uh, I'm going to be reading this through my Libby app. And this one set takes place in the same world as Wraith Kings. So Radiance and all of those books uh, in that series, this takes place in the same world as that. I personally don't know anything about it. I'm going to go into it blind and I'll just like update you as I go along. So I'll see you tonight at midnight whenever I start. Okay, so it is the next day. I did start Night Tide by Grace Straven at midnight last night and I ended up finishing it earlier this morning. It's actually 12.30 in the afternoon right now. And I'm not very good at staying awake for long periods of time. If you don't know, um, I have a chronic illness where one of the side effects is being fatigued <laughs> all the time. And so I fell asleep at like one, trying to read up to like 30% of this book. And then I woke up at 7.30 to like the dogs waking me up and everything here. And then I forced myself to read the rest of the book. I fell asleep and had a, like a two hour nap starting at 10 and went all the way to noon. And so I've only read one book today, so I may extend this to a couple of days, um, maybe 
three days or two days who knows um we'll see what i get done by the end of the day i really just wanted it to be 24 hours but i can't stay up that late apparently <laughs> so this was a novella by grace draven it's a part of the wraith king series and it's actually really cool like the placement of this this is technically a book you should read in between radiance and eidolon but you honestly don't have to i didn't so this novella actually doesn't have any romance in it but I'm excited about it nonetheless because uh, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let me let me start from the beginning. So this is a woman who take who lives in this fantasy land, and she has this ability to like sense the sea, or it's called the gray in this land. And so when she touches it, she can like basically see what the gray sees and feel what the what what the gray feels. Her job is to uh, catch shrimp and she has this very large horse you can see on the cover um she takes pride in this horse she loves this horse i name's i think her name's jitta gitta g-i-t-t-a gitta gitta i don't know and they are basically shrimp shrimpers they're called shrimpers where they go and collect shrimp so they attach a net to in between two horses and they walk in the sea and collect shrimp and so the people of the town trust our heroine to warn them whether or not something dangerous is in the sea that day or coming to them in the sea that day she's also the bastard daughter to the lord of the land but she's a peasant so she has a half sister who left their town a long time ago to get married like seven years ago she got married and left the town and this book starts out with her coming back our heroine ends up meeting her husband and her little daughter um who is a who adores horses basically the rest of the book is about her trying to get rid of this evil force that has been luring um people who are grieving to the sea to kill them to feast on them so that's what this little novella is about but i read the author's note at the end she said you should read this in between radiance and eidolon but this book isn't going to take precedent or these characters in this book you won't see them until book number five in this series there, there's going to be five books in the series <laughs> what i i know that the ippos king i still haven't read that one yet the ippos king is out which is about Anozek, Anoz, Anozette and Saravek. And then book number four, I just looked on Goodreads the other day and there is a title. There's no description or page count or release date. There's a title. I think it's like the, the Nowhere Man or something like that. The Nowhere King. The Nowhere King. I think that's what it is. This is the couple that is going to be a part of book number five. She said, you will be seeing the heroine in this book and the heroine's sister's husband in book number five. So I'm assuming maybe something happens to her sister. Her sister's kind of really arrogant and snobbish and stuck up, but she really loves her sister. So I'm like scared that she's gonna die. And so then this is gonna be a romance possibly between this woman and her sister's husband. And it might be also a single parent romance. If, if, it's, if it goes the route of the wife isn't in the picture anymore, if her sister isn't in the picture anymore, it might be that but I really don't want it to be a cheating book. I don't think so. I'm excited now. So this novella particularly didn't have any romance in it, but I really liked the story it told. I thought it was very alluring and captivating and oh, Grace Sherman's writing in this book is fantastic and beautiful. I think I'm gonna give this one a 4.5 out of 5 stars just because it's not my favorite thing in the world, but it was still flipping good. Okay, we have my spinner wheel here again. So we are going to spin. I will put the picture up here now so let's pick a book let's do it Ooh. this is a novel seduction by claire hastings okay so yes this is off of kindle unlimited this is 87 pages evie stab never told anyone that the secret admirer from college the one who left her romance novels are all marked up with sweet nothings and naughty highlights now a high school english lit teacher she keeps her romance novel guilty pleasure to herself and that suits her just fine even though it's been years since college drake Harkins still thinks about that cute sweet blonde who tutored him nor can he ever forget about the rush he got from secretly sending her those dirty books she liked 
complete with some extra commentary from him. An unexpected encounter reunites Drake and Evie, leaving Drake wanting more. Evie, however, requires a little more convincing. Can Drake use her guilty pleasure to win her over, or is he forever benched to live in the shadows of Evie's book boyfriends? That sounded so good, so of course I added it to the spinner wheel. Um, so I'm going to download this one and get to reading it. I have a few things to do today. I'm helping my mom with some work. We'll see. Whenever I finish this one, I'll let you know. Okay, everybody, it's a couple of hours later and I have finished A Novel Seduction by Claire Hastings. And I really enjoyed this one. I think I'm gonna give it a four to five stars. It was honestly really cute and really sweet and I really liked the hero in here. So our hero and heroine, they met in college and um, she was his tutor, uh, his English tutor. And um, he is also a baseball player. Um, and so there's that sports element in here too. One day when apparently like she goes to the bathroom during one of their tutoring sessions, he comes across uh, one of her romance books that falls out of her bag and he uh, writes in the margins and like highlights the naughty things in the book for her and she reads them afterward and she throughout college throughout that semester was sent book after book after book with like notes in them by this person sending them to her basically a secret admirer who sends her books that is highlighted with all the steamy parts. So then this book takes place years later and our heroine, she is a high school teacher, an English high school teacher. Our hero comes across her one day at a bookstore and then he also maybe starts working at the same school that she's at. So it's kind of like an office romance. Um, I really liked this. My only like issue that wasn't really touched upon was like there was no answer to why he didn't like pursue her in college and he just sent her all those books and even though he said he was really attracted to her and really liked her he never said why they stopped talking or why he never asked her out like he never he never said those things or as to why and so i felt like that was kind of lacking um i will say the uh there is a proposal in here and it is probably the cutest proposal i've ever read about <laughs> I thought the proposal was really, really, really cute. <laughs> um, so if you want like a short, fun read, um, I really love the romance novel aspect in here because he reads the romance novels to her. Those scenes were good. <laughs> and so I really like this one. So I'm going to give it a four to five stars. Now I'm going to put on my screen again for the spinner wheel. It's around 3.45 in the afternoon. So I may get around to one or two more books. We will see. We'll see. By the way, I haven't been only reading. I've been doing other things. If I was only reading throughout the day, I probably would have read more books by now, but I'm doing other things throughout the house and doing work stuff too. I also want to say I added two more books to this list down at the bottom right here I added two more books uh, because I found them on bookbub literally this morning and they're both under 100 pages so I put them on this list so let's spin and see what I have to read next Okay, we have The Babysitter by Jack Harbin. So this is a romance that I've heard a lot about and I've heard amazing things about. This is a male-male romance, I want to say. Um, and I have loved uh, Jack Harbin's books. I read His Beauty by Jack Harbin and I really, really, really like that one. Um, so I'm very excited to dive into that one. I'm going to go download it off of Kindle Unlimited right now. Hi there, everybody. It is later in the day. Sorry for the sun flare right here. This is the only like spot I have to film at the moment in this house. Um, so I finished The Babysitter by Jack Harbin and I really enjoyed this one. I'm going to give it a four out of five stars. It's not my favorite thing in the world, but I really like Jack Harbin's writing style. And I just thought the story was super short, sweet, fun, steamy. Um, if you love female male romances, please pick this one up. It is quite steamy and quite good. Um, I definitely want to read more of Jack Harbin's books. I've been really liking his books and this one I really liked specifically because of the ending. It was kind of more open-ended, which you don't see a lot in romance books. And I actually really liked that, that was cool. And I also think that this might be a part of like a series, so I'll have to check that out. But I realized I never really talked about what this is about, but it's like a 43 page book about um, a babysitter. He's in college and he is in this creative writing class and he likes to write steamy stuff for this class or just in general and he accidentally leaves his notebook at the house he babysits for and um the dad comes across it and yeah it's a romance between the babysitter and the dad um <laughs> it's quite steamy again short fun sweet so um i'm just gonna give it four stars okay so we're gonna do another spin here is the spinning wheel right next to me um, so let's do it. Ready, set, go. What are we gonna get? Let's see. Okay, 
Okay, we have Entrapment by Isabel Starling. Okay, so this is one of the freebies that I have on my Kindle. It is a mafia romance, and it's actually still currently free to download if you want to go check it out. It is 50 pages, and it says on her 18th birthday, Ophelia Stoklov will be kidnapped. The daughter of a Russian mafia kingpin, she gets everything she wants with the click of her fingers, except for him. She's been in love with Riker for years, but she's supposed to marry his brother, Max. <laughs> until that one fateful day celebrating her 18th birthday when everything changes. There's evil lurking in the shadows, just like her papa said, and this time she won't be able to hide. That sounds good, y'all. I haven't read a mafia book in quite a long time, so hopefully this one is good. So I'm gonna go, uh, go through my Kindle library, find it, and start it. Okay, it is later. Sorry for the bad angle and lighting. I'm in the kitchen <laughs> currently uh, cleaning up and stuff. Uh, so I finished the book. What is the name of it? It is called um, Entrapment by Isabel Starling. This is actually previously titled Feather by Fawn Bailey. And that's what it says on Goodreads is Feather by Fawn Bailey. But on Amazon, it's Enticement, no, Entrapment by Isabel Starling. So uh, I guess she has two different pseudonyms. Oh, excuse me. Um, so this one was a really short read, around like 45 pages. This is definitely twisted. Um, Trigorning in this prequel book for death of loved ones, abuse, hitting, just the typical mafia things. Even in this 45 page novella, you get those things. Um, I did have to skip part of the book because there was a shooting in it. And if you don't know, that is one of the two triggers that I cannot do. Um, so I had to skip a little bit of the book um, because there was a shooting in it. So just beware going into it. I feel like any mafia book or dark book, uh, you're gonna wanna go look at the trigger warnings um, beforehand. It's pretty short. I don't know if I'll continue on with the series. They're all on Kindle Unlimited. Um, but in this book, like the summary talked about how um, her father put her in an arranged marriage with this brother named, this guy named Max, but she's actually in love with his twin brother, Riker. Like the summary said, she gets kidnapped, but it's by some other guy. And apparently now he's in the picture. So it's like three guys now at the end of the book. Some of it was just like really bizarre to me. At the beginning, I did not like, um, because it's in the point of view of our heroine when she's five. And I work with children and that's not, <laughs> <laughs> little children even if you're raised in a russian bravta mafia family world you don't talk like that your inner, inner monologue is not going to be that sophisticated like it it bugs me whenever books do that where it has first person from a child and it's not legitimate or it's not accurate it really bugs me because i work with kids you know so it just it bugs me. If anything, if you were to have like some flashback scenes or even like a prequel part of a book where there's a child involved or the the main character of the story, it's their point of view as a child, do it in third person. Do not do it in first person. That is, no. <laughs> like most, like in every, I wanna say in every book that I've read where it's first person from a child's point of view, it is not done accurately at all. It is done way too sophisticated in a way too sophisticated way, if that makes sense. Um, so I don't know what I'm gonna read this all in all honesty, um, maybe a three or 3.5, I don't know. Like I haven't read a mafia book in a while. Um, so I feel like this series could be good for some people. The um, This was the prequel, but you have to read the prequel before you get into the rest of the books apparently. And the first book starts out with our heroine being in a kidnapped space, like the, her the, the, the guy hero. I don't know, the guy who is the main character in the next book, technically book number one, since the one I read was a prequel, he is like the hero of the story and he um, kidnapped our heroine and is making her do stuff. So, pretty dark. So, um, I like dark romance and I like mafia books. It's just like, I wasn't that interested. I don't like love triangles and this is gonna be a love triangle and I'm just not into love triangles. So I don't foresee myself probably picking up the rest of the books. Who knows though? Hello everyone. This is gonna be the end of this video. I actually ended this 24 hour challenge 
like three days ago and I never wrapped it up. Um, I feel like right when I was doing that ending clip just before this one, my parents came home like right when that video cut off um, and I don't like filming in front of them and I was spending quality time with them. I just got home from finals and being at school and everything. I wanted to spend time with them, watch a movie with them. We watched Enchanted, yes, um, one of the best movies ever made <laughs> um so i was just having fun and chilling and hanging out with them so um yeah i wanted to read five books in 24 hours but i didn't have it i only read four so i pretty much enjoyed like all of these besides kind of like the last one the last one was just like not my favorite thing ever <laughs> but this was really fun i think i might do another like spinner wheel challenge one day this was really really fun i really liked the the spinner wheel um if you want me to do another 24 hour novella thing let me know this was a lot of fun um, and I do like a whole weekend thing or a week thing. Just let me know. But yeah, that's all that I have for this video Please let me know down below if you have read any of these books or if you plan to but anyways Thank y'all so so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all